Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me hit say whale. Whale. <laughs> Hi, this is Ava Sophia. I'm here with Maze Radio doing 21 questions, and I'm hyped. Let's go. <laughs> as an artist this is all that I do like this has been my dream for like as long as I can remember I'm multidisciplinary so I do different types of art I do music I do spoken word I do education work I do activism work all different types of things so yeah what are your all-time favorite restaurants to eat oh right now um, you know right now uh, one of them is rhythm and raps in Austin I love them they're, I'm trying to do the whole vegan thing, but it's it's kind of working out for me, but they're really helping out because they do a make of uh, <laughs> amazing vegan recipes of like mac and cheese, burgers, everything. So shout out to them. And they've been a big supporter of my music too. So love them. Do you have any hidden talents? Oh, you know, I don't like this question. <laughs> I really don't think I have. My talents are all out on the floor. I have no hidden talents. If you could travel to two places anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? I've always wanted to go to the rest of Southeast Asia. So I've been to India before, but I wanna go to like Vietnam, Singapore, Laos, like just do a whole tour because I love that area and I don't know that much about it. So I would love to learn. Do you have any silly fears? If so, what are they? Um, I'm pretty sure my silliest fear is probably moths. I feel like they're just butterflies, evil twin, and I'm not here for them. They just need to stop staring at me. I'm not for it. Leave me alone. Is water wet? Water's wet, okay? <laughs> That's, don't come for me. Water is wet. Water creates wetness, was that? Uh, <laughs> let me stop. Water is wet, the end. Finish the lyrics. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know, I'm sorry. I'm not cool. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me hear you say whale. Whale. <laughs> <laughs> that was so on point. <laughs> What's the craziest dream you've ever had? Craziest dream I've ever had. Have you ever had that experience where you like wake up from a dream within a dream within a dream within a dream? That like, what's the movie? Inception, like an Inception style dream. I have those often. So I don't know what that says about me, but maybe something bad. When did you first discover your voice and what is the first song you've ever sung? Okay, this is embarrassing, but my first, the first time I really discovered my voice, I did like mad musical theater as a kid. And my first musical where I got a major part was in Cats. I don't know if you heard about the movie release recently. Just, I don't, don't see it, but <laughs> it was one of my first major like center stage roles. I was in middle school and I sang Memory and there's like pictures of me in a cat costume and a robe and all this, all this stuff. And they're never gonna reach the internet or anywhere, so. Now I've told the world, I guess. <laughs> As a child, what part of a kid movie was completely devastating for you? Oh, every time the every time a parent died in a Disney movie, like Mufasa, that still is with me. I'm sensitive. If you could laugh without smiling, show us how it would look. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> What is this question? <laughs> it's a what the fuck question. Ha. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Oh my god. Oh. If someone asked to be your apprentice and learn all that you know, what would you teach them? I would teach them, I would teach them about obviously singing and songwriting, but I would also teach them how to like authentically be themselves as an artist. I feel like that's what people are drawn to me for is that I'm always real and authentic and I guess unfiltered in a way. So I would, I would foster that. If you could instantly know how to speak another language, what language would you choose to know and why? It would be the languages that I'm, I sort of know, but I'm not good at at all. So I, I speak a little bit of Spanish, but I'd like to be like fluent in it. And I, I speak Hindi, which is a language from India, but like not really well at all. So I'd love to be better at both of those. If the internet was taken away, how would you promote yourself? I would just be singing on the street, passing out mixtapes, CDs, like the 90s. What's the most interesting thing you've read or seen this week? This week? Um, I love the new book by Samantha Irby. I think it's called Wild No Thank You. And she does a whole chapter on like all the things that your phone, how people get addicted to their phone and how it's terrible for us, but like we all love it. Like it's an addiction that we're all okay with. So I highly recommend her. What are some of your pet peeves? Pet peeves, I hate, I hate when people are chewing with their mouth open. I hate it so much. <laughs> if you're gonna be doing that around me, leave, go eat at a different restaurant. I'm like, that's nails on a chalkboard to me. Please never do that. What are some of your favorite songs from the 90s? From the 90s? Well, recently with the, with the Brandy and Monica verses, I would say like Brandy's whole 90s catalog. Um, obviously sitting up in my room is one of my favorites. Um, I've been listening to a lot of TLC recently, so I've been super into that catalog as well. If you could open a show for any artist, who would it be and why? Alicia Keys. <laughs> the end. <laughs> <laughs> and why? Um, I feel like for most people who know me personally, like she's been one of my icons for pretty much my whole life, like since I was a really little kid. So I talk about this constantly, like just someone, someone hooked me up. That's, that's my dream. What is the best advice you've been given? Okay, so I recently put a post out on my social media about my dad's birthday, which was yesterday. And one of the pieces of advice he gave me was, Money is like brushing your teeth, where it's like a necessary thing that we all have to do. Like nobody wants to please brush your teeth every day. But, <laughs> but you don't need to, it doesn't need to be emotional. You don't need to be doing it like excessively. It's just a fundamental basic need. So that really stuck with me as a way to think about money and finances. If you was to win the lottery, what would be the first thing you would do? Hmm, can I cop out and say like, give it to charity or something? Is that fair? <laughs> Cause I think that's the truth. I think that's the truth. I would give, I would give it to charity. I would give it to my parents. I would buy like guacamole on my burrito. <laughs> that's it. If you had one message to give your fans, what would it be? Right now, it's gonna be okay. I, I really want people to, in whatever situation they're in, I, I really want people to continue to stay faithful and continue to stay mentally stable. So I guess take care of yourself also. Lipstick or gloss? Uh, lipstick. Black or white? Black. Chicken or beef? Chicken. TV shows or movies? TV shows. Nightclub or house parties? House party? Meat or no meat? No meat. Nuts or no nuts? Nuts. Pineapple or pizza? Yes. Dumber cat? Cat. Hip hop or R&B? R&B. Martin or Fresh Prince? Fresh Prince. Friends or living single? Living single. Disney or Nick? <laughs> what? <laughs> Disney or Nick? Oh, uh, Disney. I just finished up a dope questionnaire by Maze Radio, and again, this is Ava Sophia, and if you don't know me, you can check me out on social media at Ava Sophia Music on Spotify, Apple Music, Facebook, Instagram, all the places, so check me out. <laughs>